What's going on, guys? SGK Network, the network. DNF Jewelry, reviews, and jewelry. As always, before I get started, peace and blessings to everybody. But you guys, nothing but the best, of course. Review, Jacoji. Why did I choose Jacoji? Uh, similar chains from factories that I order myself. Um, hear a lot of good things. He likes to educate people. Um, uh, and I want to support small businesses, especially jewelers. Um, four millimeter Cuban curve or flat curve, as he calls it. 26 inches long is what I ordered. I paid $910. It was the last one, meaning I bought it, went back, boom, done. So last one. And uh, super fast shipping. Uh, Wednesday, got it Friday at 11 p.m. p.m. Uh, a.m., so like a day and a half. Great as far as that. Regular purchase, though. Did not DM them, send them an email. Just a regular because I got to do the reviews and I got to do them honest. You guys know what I'm talking about. Let's see if that works better. Let's see. Okay. Authenticity certificate, uh, flat car, four millimeter, 26 inches, gram weight 15.1, 14 karat gold, which should be plum, 585, meaning 58%, 58.5% out of a 24 karat, 100% gold bullion, 0.999 or 0.9999. Now, again, honest reviews. Authenticity certificate. Uh, this is nice. It's just an invoice. It's just a description of what you bought, though. You can't do nothing with this. Insurance, home insurance. Here. I'm going to do a 20-minute review on this as well. For those that want to buy it. So it's super descriptive, detailed, education. This is what a certificate bound by the law looks like just an example and this is Charles and Cole but this is nice you know you order these with the boxes and the pouches and all that stuff again guys my, my reviews are honest nice packaging cool little box you got a sticker gold one Nice touch, nice little box. Keep it in here. Leary's is up. Check out that diamond cut rope. Good lord, that was a nice piece from them. Put this to the side. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. Uh, just in case you're wondering, because uh, you guys know me, I like to be descriptive. Here's the FedEx bottle. Uh, FedEx bottle, the bag, the box. Uh, of course, there was the FedEx, you know, bag, which is like whitish gray on the inside. You stick it. That was this. All of this was inside that. That was inside the FedEx box. Threw that away um, just to make things quicker, you know. So great packaging, super fast shipping. Let's check it out. Uh, this is one thing I do want to talk about. Guys, please, advice, advice. Start using wax jewelry paper so your jewelry, especially chains, don't not get scratched. Especially with chains, there are certain ways that you wrap them up. If you guys want me, I'll show you in a video. So they don't get scratched during travel like this. From the manufacturer to the United States, shipping it to the customer. While it's in the hands of whomever. In this case, let's say Jacoji. You know. There's nothing. Let me see if it's better like this for the chain, though. Yeah. Let's nice wait.
here it is a four millimeter Miami Cuban Miami Cuban flat curb he calls it good marketing because he has the Jacoji link which really the Jacoji link is a Cuban curb right you decide how thick you want these made and how tight you want the links you understand so there's good marketing behind that meaning let me make this thin nice links tight not as tight as but I like these I know this chain I don't have to pay retail for this chain you know what I mean then let me make the same one but let's make it like four millimeters in thickness let's make the links twice as tighter than this and let's call it a Jacoji link which is still just a Cuban curb it's not a Miami it's a Cuban curb so I can charge more for the Jacoji link and charge less for the Cuban curb which he calls a flat curb good marketing Let's check out. I don't understand. <clears throat> See, I got to do the reviews honest. I don't understand why this looks like it looks. I don't like lobster claps that much, but this is nice. End caps right there. Let me see the links. It's nice. Soldered spring, I'm pretty sure. 14 karat. On this side, his logo, Italy. But it's not high polished as far as this. It looks like it was used a polish rag and then the buffing rag which actually made it worse so this could have been old stock or this could have been used let's look at the links most people don't loop it and do this this thing hits but it has a lot of scratches on it Hold on, because we are going to flip it over. Hmm. This could be because no jewelry wax paper. Or this could have been, this might be used. And this might be because a chain under it. And this goes over that chain. And you get these little scratches. Or this was over a chain. Most likely under a chain. It's a nice chain. The thing hits. But... See, these chains go through quality control. And they're inspected. Especially from this factory or these three, four factories. And they're inspected. When they're inspected, if they see this, 
This goes back to polish and finish. Especially because it's a diamond cut. And it's supposed to be new. And you're sending it, obviously I'm assuming in bulk, to the retailer. And... Yeah. This is a little weird, man. You guys comment below. Let me know. Brayden, if you're watching. Jacoji, if you're watching. It wasn't signed by you. So I get it. The last one. Maybe old stock. Maybe returned. Upgraded. But this is not new. I can... Well, we'll be doing reviews. I'll order a new one from a different company and put this side by side and show you. This should not be scratched like that. Buffed out like that. So I'm going to repolish this myself. I am going to fix the clasp, which is dull. And scratch. You can see that this was number one. So when the, with the polishing rag situation, is two of them. Usually you have a white one that cleans it nicely. So first ultrasonic, bang. Then you have the rag, the polishing rag, white one that cleans it. Then you have the other one that's attached to it. Usually a color, usually blue. And that is a polishing rag. You can actually take off gold and things like that. It looks like that's exactly what they did to this area. That's why you see like the Italy, but around it, you can see what you see. And you see those lines on the lobster clasp. It looks like it was polished with the rag, cleaned, and then the one that polishes it which made it worse, meaning it took out the luster and the mirror finish or high polish finish. And as far as the links go, you guys be the judge for yourself. One side looks a little better than the other. And I am assuming that is because one side is the side You see what I mean? We're at 45 times zoom. See my fingerprints? So most people are not going to see this. I doubt it anyways. See those links right here? This thing hits. But it's... This looks used. I'm sorry. Honest reviews. This looks like a used chain. Make sure it's clean. Hmm, we got scratches, little things. Let's polish that and then let's buff it out with the other one, which actually made it worse. <laughs> Unless it was worse than this. But the chain is beautiful. The chain hits, tight links, so on and so on. You know, and you can't, you know, really see that unless you're doing what I just did looping on the camera and having that type of zoom that's beautiful it just doesn't look like a brand new chain it looks used I'm sorry I can I don't have time look at the Leary's video 
And look when I zoom into the diamond cut rope scene. And that's a rope. That thing is flawless. But let's see how it looks far away. Bong. That's kind of the look you're going to get. So when I put a medallion on it, the bell should be like something around there. Then the medallion, something like that. Iced out. Bang. Again. It's a nice chain. Uh, those swirls and scratches will happen anyways if I put chains over it or chains under, which I don't for that reason. Um, I don't even really have to zoom too much. You guys comment below and let me know. Quick review. Customer service, shipping. Oh, customer service. You need a phone number if you're a real personal private jeweler like myself. People are going to hit you up. You're going to get a lot more business, but you're also going to get a lot of people that are going to call you and waste your time and not buy nothing. You know, shout out to Jacoji. Keep up the good work. Um, if you see this video, you can contact me. Information is down there. I believe this chain has been used. I don't believe this is a brand new chain. Or it's defective from your manufacturer from Italy, which I highly, highly doubt it because they do quality control, 82 point inspection. And when something's off, in this case, they would just, yo, we got to repolish this. We got all these scratches on all the links. Clasp, look at the clasp. The clasp looks like it's 10 karat gold. Got all these swirls. It's flat. It's dull with lines. You know, I'm just keeping it a buck. I told you guys, honest reviews. As far as the price, $910. Um, I don't have to play, pay retail. I can buy these at wholesale, but we're doing reviews. Uh, I can provide you the same change, just different logo on it. Uh, but he has good prices. Um, with me, you probably save $70, 75 dollars. That's about it. You know what I mean? Maybe a little more. Who knows? I'm not sure. But you save more. I got more affordable prices. Same chain, different logo. And we don't we don't accept shipping out. You know things like I showed you. At 50 zoom. That's 10 zoom right there. And it's beautiful. Like, you'll never know that. But that's not the point, right? You're buying a new chain. Another thing. Um, these They don't come with a tag, with a barcode. Description of the chain and things of that nature. I'm not going to weigh it because I don't have a flat surface right here. Or I do. Okay. 15.1 grams. Fifteen grams. Also disappointed in this. Everybody else I see. Sixteen grams for the same chain. Fifteen point eight. Fifteen point six. Sixteen point two. Sixteen grams. I'm joking. It is what it is. It says 15.1. I got 15. We're all good on that. But everybody else gets extra. Just like you guys do with me. But. Yeah, 15 grams. Not even 15.1. Who cares about the one? I'm just saying. Everybody else gets extra. The last video I saw. Same chain. 4 millimeter, 26 inches. Flat curve. Uh, six hundred and sixty dollars he paid, and sixteen grams he got. Mine is fifteen. Now it's fourteen point nine. So we'll just leave it at fifteen. Fifteen point one. It is what it is. 
Hope you guys have a blessed day. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. At the end of the day. Acceptable. Not acceptable. As far as everything, 10 out of 10. As far as the quality of the chain. As far as quality control. Mistakes happen. So on and so on. 8 out of 10. I believe this is a used chain. You guys comment below. DNF Diamonds. Reviews Jewelry. Honest Reviews. Everybody stay blessed.